near where the weight and balance problem, refer to figure 32 and 33. With the airplane loaded as follows, what action can be taken to balance the airplane? They give us front and rear seat occupants and fuel quantity in the main tank. What the question does not have, but what you can find in the figure, is the empty weight and moment, which is found right here. I'm going to make a table, and we'll determine where the weight and balance is located. So we have the airplane, empty weight, weight, arm, and moment. Anytime you have weight and you mul multiply it by the arm, that gives you the moment. So empty weight of the airplane is 2,015 pounds. And the moment is 1554. The moments are all in hundreds, but I'm not going to do in hundreds. So I'm going to add a couple zeros here and make it 155,400. In the front seat... We have 411 in the rear. We have 100 pounds in the main fuel tank. We have 44 gallons. If you multiply it by 6 pounds every gallon, that gives you the weight of 264 pounds of fuel. For the front seat, we go to, to figure 32, occupants, front seat. We do not have the weight listed here, but I can see the arm is 85. So front seat times an arm of 85 inches gives us a moment of 34,935. For the rear, we have 100 pounds, occupants, rear seat, the weight of 100 is not listed, but we have the arm of 121. Multiply by 121 inches, and it gives us 12,100. And for fuel, we have 264 pounds. Looking at fuel on the table here, main tank. Here we have the 44 gallons, 264 pounds, or moment of 198 hundreds. Or we can use the arm of 75. So weight times arm of 75 inches gives us a moment of 19,800. Now we're going to total the weight and total the moment and the total weight comes out to 2,790 pounds looking at figure 33 we have weights listed 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29, the very last weight here, 2950, this is your max weight. And so we are below our max weight, which is good. If we total the moment, we get 222,235. And the moment in the table over here on the right they give us a minimum moment and a maximum moment for a given weight. And the minimum is the forward limit. The max is the aft CG limit. And for the weight of 2790, we can find that right here. And our moment in hundreds would actually be, I'm going to put a decimal point right here, 2,222, which is below the minimum, meaning our center of gravity is too far forward. We need to move stuff further aft or add weight further back in order to balance the airplane. So let's go through our answer choices here and see how we can accomplish this. Accomplish this. 
A, fill the auxiliary wing tanks. Okay, well, here's auxiliary wing tank, arm of 94. Let's give that a try, 94. So we're gonna add ox fuel. And if we fill it up, that will be 19 gallons, 114 pounds, and a moment of 107. So 19 gallons. Multiply it by six, and you should get 114 pounds. That will be adding to our total weight. Multiply by the arm of 94 to give us a moment of, we'll be adding 10,716. And that would result in a weight of 2,904 pounds. And a moment of 2,000, sorry, 232,951. So we go over to figure 33. We find about 2,900 is right about here. And we are, for our moment, 2329. 2329 would be below our minimum. So that's not going to work. It can't be alpha. Let's try Bravo. Add 100 pound weight to the baggage compartment. Let me move this stuff out of the way. All right. So we're going to add to the baggage compartment. We're adding 100 pounds, 2890, and baggage compartment, if we look at figure 32, there's baggage, and 100 pounds is right here, moment of 140, or we can use the arm, so 100 multiply by arm of 140 inch pounds, and we get our 14,000 and if we add that to our total moment we get a new total of 236,235 so we go to the table on the right and we'll plot out find 2,890 and there it is right here. And we look at our moment here. If it's in hundreds, we put a decimal there. So we're looking at 2362. And 2362 is above our minimum and below our maximum. So we are within weight and balance limits just by adding 100 pounds to the baggage compartment. So answer Bravo works.